So now we, we are here at your clinic that you started, and you started it together with some co-workers. I understand that you still have some here. Yes, they are still here, still working here. Uh, and uh, the three of us originally came from psychiatry. Uh, but the, the result we have now, after having been here 15 years, is that this is not psychiatry. Uh, these are really somatic disorders, eventually the immunological disturbances that these patients suffer from. Uh, and therefore, now in this unit, uh, we are... Uh, yeah, five doctors, but some of them are not full-time doctors. Uh, and there, three are psychiatrists, there is a gerontologist, and there is an uh, internal medicine doctor also. Uh, and um, indeed, it is a multi-organic disorder, and therefore you need uh, uh, transversal uh, knowledge for, for being able to cope with these patients. They have symptoms for many organs. They, it's a multi-organ disorder. And then we also have uh, research nurses and we have, of course, secretaries who help us with uh, writing records uh, of the patients. Um, we are still very unique in Sweden. We are the only such unit in Sweden, but uh, now uh, a private unit is opened in another county. And in Stockholm, there is a project going on where uh, they will take care of the, these kind of patients. But it's still unique, it's still, uh, yeah, there is great need of this care. What do you see about the future of the clinic? You will not live forever. No. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I, I really uh, go for that it, there should be organized more such unit like this. Uh, it's not enough with starting a rehabilitation unit. The people who work with these patients have, have to know the, the symptomatology of these disorders and the understanding of how much they can function, how, how, uh, how their energy is lost and, and, and sometimes they have this uh, post-exertional malaise where, where they get very tired for a couple of days. Uh, uh, after some heavy work. Uh, so I think that both from a rehabilitation point of view, but also from uh, symptom relief point of view, you have to have doctors who have specific knowledge for these disorders. And that means that there is need of creating units like this one. And there you should uh, uh, give time for the patients. Uh, we give every first visit patients one and a half hour really to get through all the symptoms they have. You, uh, the, uh, our experience is that uh, uh, these patients have swim around I in hospital care without an anybody giving really notice to them. Uh, and uh, when they arrive here, uh, they have been ill for, in meantime, 11 years. They've gone around with their disorder for 11 years before getting a real diagnosis. So th there is great need of information to these patients, and not only to the patients, but also to the society about the this disorder. Uh, not only the medical, but also the common society they should know about this disorder because these patients have very great difficulties in their uh, discussions with uh, insurance, uh, being, uh, being sick, uh, uh, described, yeah, be, being, uh, yeah, getting, getting paid for, uh, for being sick. They have great difficulties in the insurance system. 
uh, if we look into the future, uh, if more of these units need to be established in our country, uh, do you have an idea how they need to be taught? Yes. By somebody? Yes. What do you think about that? Yeah, I'm, of course, there will be problems uh, because, uh, as I say, we are unique and we are four or five doctors here and we could educate, but we have to also uh, take care of patients so we can get our money from, from the government. Uh, but it is not so difficult. If you really take a doctor who is a little trained and, and um, educate him in these two disorders, you, you could teach him in a week uh, so he understands the disorder. Those who have start, doctors who have started here, they say already uh, after a couple of weeks, oh, now I see, now I see what this is ME or chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia. And of course they very easily can l uh, learn what kind of treatment we have here. But, but um, the, the, the important thing is to make the society understand that uh, there is a need, or the, or the medical society, that there is need of such units like this. So, so there could be uh, organized units with help, maybe from you or somebody? Yes, uh, and in fact we are already invited to the, uh, the county south in Sweden where they, they have heard about uh, what we do and, and they have, especially from the patient units, I think the patient's unit have very great importance in this context. They are driving the, the, the need uh, for, for care and they should continue to do that strongly against politicians. And now in Skåne they have listened to this and they have invited us to tell us about this unit and see if they can create one in, in the south of Sweden.